Disney has a lot of fun songs in the animated movies, but did you know in musicals they really do sing about everything? I'm about to cut to my opening sequence. I could just do it and it would be done. But we must sing about it for over 15 minutes. Welcome to Durbania, I'm Durbin, and this is my spoiler-free review for Frozen 2. So is it good? Is it worth checking out this weekend? Is it worth taking your kid out to see this movie? I think the answer to those questions is yes. If you're a Disney fan and you like the animated movie so much and you loved the first Frozen movie, you're definitely going to look forward to this one. Now me, I like the first Frozen movie. I don't love it, I enjoy it, and this one, I was kind of looking forward to it and I enjoyed it. I'm giving it a B. That's the exact same grade I gave the first one, but if I had Frozen 1 and I had Frozen 2 sitting right there in front of me, the one that I would pick to watch would be Frozen 2. I just liked it. It got deeper into things, and I enjoyed how it got deeper into like the story and the magic and some of the origin and the mythology. Like The way they dug into that, I enjoyed it. I will say this, though. In the first movie, Sven was my favorite character. I love Sven. But Olaf did it. That that little son of a snowflake, he did it. He made himself my favorite character in this movie. He was absolutely hysterical. Some of the scenes that I laughed the hardest in were all because of Olaf. And some of the scenes I was the most saddest in were because of Olaf. Olaf won as my favorite character for this movie. Sven still was pretty great and a lot of great moments, but it was definitely Olaf that won that for me. And again, they take the two sisters, Anna and Elsa, and they carry on their story really, really well. So you have Elsa who's receiving this call to go on adventure. And what I liked about her receiving the call, and I think this is the part that made it you know, more deep for me that I really enjoyed, is she really had this, this voice and it was calling out to her. And so you see her very human reaction action that she kind of doesn't want change she's happy with things how they are but she feels that deep down in her spirit like she wants to answer the call she wants to run out into the unknown you did not choose me but i chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit fruit that will last so you have this call that chose Elsa. Elsa didn't choose this call. And then you kind of see her very human reaction. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I risk what is, you know, feeling safe to me? What I have and what is normal? A change is scary. It really is. But we all sometimes have that call in our lives where God gives us that call, that call to adventure. And the good news is he makes all things work together for the good of those who love him so we could step out in boldness. But I like this movie because you see her wanting to step out in boldness, also wanting to hold back, and then you get to see what happens when she does step out into boldness. So I thought it was a very good illustration of the idea of calling and that we did not choose him, but he chose us. So I thought that was pretty cool and really fun to look a little bit deeper and see that in this movie. So it was cool in terms of character development and taking all of these characters to the next level, you know, as they went through this adventure and they answered this call and how this call affected each of them. I thought they did a pretty good job with that. The animation was good, but I mean, did we really expect anything less? It's the Disney animation. Uh, the songs, they are a lot of fun. There was just a few that I was like, okay, this song is on a little bit too long can we just move on to the next thing i get it but overall they're still really fun in conclusion i just liked the first frozen movie and i was curious to see where this one was gonna go and even though i give frozen 2 the same grade a b i enjoyed this one more because it took things a little deeper and took the characters to their next natural level and it just fit and i thought it was done so well so if you loved the first frozen then yes you're gonna love frozen 2 what did you think? Do you agree with my grade B? Would you go higher? Would you go lower? Let's talk about that in the comments. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button to become a Durbanian. Hit that bell by the subscribe button so you're notified the next time I do a movie review, ranking video, theological analysis, or anything else I do here. I'm Durbin. Thanks for checking out Durbanian.